pull out all the stops is a fundraising drive to reinstall the Royal Festival Hall organ. The organ was taken out of the auditorium in 2005 and when the first part of that refurbishment was completed in 2007, one third of the organ was put back in. During the summer of 2012, we put in the um, central section of the organ and the final section will go in in the summer of 2013. In a concert hall, the organ is required to do a very specific task. It's required by composers to provide huge orchestral power at the climax of a work. In addition, the organ has to play softer than any other orchestral instrument to provide a really quiet background. And sometimes it has to play lower notes than any other orchestral instrument can produce, and sometimes higher notes than any other orchestral instrument can produce. When you see a pipe organ, you often see it perhaps in a church, an array of pipes on the front of the instrument. But here at the festival hall, what you see is what you get. You can peer into the instrument and you can see some of the inner workings. I'm seated now at the console of the Royal Festival Hall organ, and it's the place from which the organist controls all of the stops, all of the keyboards, and brings all of the pipes in the organ to life. What you'll see are four keyboards. They're shorter than a piano keyboard, but each of these four keyboards controls an area of the organ. In other words, a different set of pipes belongs to each of the keyboards. Ranged around the organ console are what we call the organ stops, the draw stops. Each of those stops is like a musical instrument, so there are 61 keys for each stop on the organ, and every single stop has a different pitch. So, Here's an eight foot pitch. And then another stop, the principal speaks one octave higher. And the octave two foot speaks two octaves higher. And the art of the organist is to blend these sounds together to form a tonal architecture. Many people ask what the buttons are on the Royal Festival Hall organ and they are a computerised control system to allow the stops to come in and out. So I can program them and press a button and hey presto, all the stops come out and I can send them all in again. The organist plays the pedals with their feet. It's a whole giant keyboard with the notes big enough obviously to get your toes and your heels on but it enables you to actually play the melodies or the bass line of a particular piece of music. I'm now stood amongst the largest pipes in the back of the Royal Festival Hall organ and these are the 32 foot uh, principal pipes of the pedal organ. Organ pipes are made from a, a mixture of different materials, tin and lead in various um, percentages of, of, of material to make a special alloy, or in fact in these particular pipes, these are made of zinc. Organ pipes have uh, individual parts to them. So here at the toe of the pipe is what we call the toe hole, and this is where the air comes into the pipe to actually make the sound at the mouth. And if I blow that, you'll hear it's a fairly standard organ pipe sound. But this is actually known as one of the principal ranks in the instrument. And I'm actually stood here amongst the very biggest pipes in the organs. They stretch all the way up to the ceiling of the Royal Festival Hall. And when we play these sounds, you'll see just how much displacement of air there is at the pipe mouth. In contrast to the very largest pipes in the instrument, I've got here one of the very smallest, and in fact, this portion of the pipe from there to the bottom, from the mouth to the toe hole, is just to get the wind from the soundboard into the pipe. So the pipe itself is only that long, and if I play that one, you'll hardly be able to hear it, it's so high. I've now come deeper into the Royal Festival Hall organ and we're in amongst what are called the wind reservoirs. So behind me here is one of 30 reservoirs which contain the wind already pressurised, waiting to be used by the pipework whenever the player 
plays the keys. So as the organist plays, you'll see that the reservoir starts to move up and down as it slowly fills up and is exhausted by the amount of air going to the pipework. When the instrument was designed, Rafe Downs wanted to have a whole different series of wind pressures for different sets of pipes. So he decided that each of the separate sections of the organ should be winded quite separately. And of course the totality of that makes for a very complicated mechanism inside the basement of the organ. One of the main materials used in these reservoirs in order to give them flexibility is the leather work and this enables the reservoir to have a, an inherent flexibility which allows it to rise and fall as the wind is being demanded by the pipes. This is the third level, the top level, and we're really high up in the auditorium here and I'm stood in front of what we call a swell box. Now, one of the manuals of the organ, the third keyboard up on the console, is what's known as the swell organ. And all of the pipes of that section of the instrument are contained in this great giant box, which has a whole series of shutters which open. And when the organist presses the pedal forward at the console, then the whole front of the swell organ here opens up and allows the instrument to make a crescendo. And then as he pushes the pedal down, the box front shuts up again and allows the organ to make a diminuendo. And that's one of the ways in which an organist creates an expressive sound on the instrument. Completing the restoration of the Royal Festival Hall organ is exciting on many levels. First of all, on a musical level, at the moment, we can't do the full range of orchestral repertoire because we haven't got the instrument in its complete form to be able to do that. Secondly, the organ was designed as a very important visual part of the interior of the Royal Festival Hall, which is a Grade 1 listed building. It'll be very exciting to have that restored and put back into the hall and bring it back to its true glory. The response to the Pull Out All the Stops campaign has been amazing and the public has really dug deep into its pockets and responded to our request to raise £1.35 million. And amazingly, we only have £150,000 left to raise now. We've really encouraged people to get involved in this project to raise money for the Festival Hall Organ. There is only one Festival Hall Organ. It is unique. It is iconic. You can sponsor pipes from £30 to £10,000, from the very smallest pipes in the instrument to the very largest pipes in the organ. This is a great opportunity to get online and be involved.